Hey guys, this is Adam from Team Innovate. Just here to show you my uh, my Dark World build. And yeah, it's it, it's pretty simple, but there's some choice text in there that I like to show, which is why I'm putting it up. And so yeah, let's get started. First, got three Grepha. I mean, you, you know the deal when it's discarded by a card effect, you uh, destroy a card if it's discarded by your opponent's card effect. Take one monster, you take one card out of their hand, and if it's a monster, you special summon to your side of the field. And then you obviously you special summon from the graveyard when you bounce a Dark World monster from your field to your hand. Three snow. It's just it's the main search, you know. It's it's really important to keep at three. Yeah. 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 Three brow is the draw. This is the draw power deck. It it, it I like to. It's it combos well off of Grapho and Gates. Like if you um really need to, like if you can uh, reborn one, then bounce back Grapho, and then you have a Gates you can draw to. A little something I like to do. Just one Silva, just to get that that extra discard and that extra beater that I need. Two beige. I'm, I'm, I don't. I had it a three. Took it down to two because I didn't really like it. At two, it's not that bad. It's it can be annoying sometimes to draw, but normally if you just need that freaking monster to get with uh with, for, for Greffa, this is normally the one that I ha I I uh, I go to because I normally will have it in hand. Yeah, one brawn just to just to get my if my discarding is a little slow if I'm having a bad uh bad duel. Just use this, deal battle damage, discard a card. Hopefully it'll be a snow. Just get my gates and start shit rolling from there. Then, obviously, you have the one raven. I don't like two. I feel like one is really all you need. Because you know, it, it, if I like, I feel like if you had two, it would just clump all the time. And then one saying to search out the, a brow or the raven if my hand's really good. And that's all my monsters, not for my spells. Yeah. Three gates. Obviously, it's the... It's like the it's just the main draw. It's just the power of the of the deck, the main uh, dropping engine of it. Yeah, you have three drag down, and I prefer to use three of these over Dark Road Dealings because I like to choose when my opponent discards. Because if they if I use Dealings, they could um, set themselves up for whatever kind of play they wanted to. This can basically ensure, at least temporarily, that that doesn't happen. Sure. Two duality, just for those slow times in the duel. If I can't special summon at all, I'll just use this, get an extra card out of my deck. Hopefully help me for my next turn. Just one foolish, just to get my Greffas in the graveyard so I can start swinging automatically. One terraforming, in case I can't drop a snow or anything, I need my gates. One reborn, and that's pretty obvious. One card destruction, I mean, again, it's Dark World, it's obvious. The one heavy storm. It's like staple. Two MST. I don't like running three, and I feel like one's just not enough. I like. I, I feel like the good, good bounce is two. Plus, I side the third one for just any deck that sets a lot. And my last one is Dark Hole. I mean, you know, staple just wipes the board, basically. Now for my traps, you have the one smog. Yeah, that's Chris's phone. Ignore that. Yeah. Anyway, um... I like to, I just like to play one in my main. If I can get a second one, I'll side it. But I feel like one is pretty good off the bat. Uh, I I tech one rivalry and one goes in. I side the other. I side uh, another copy of each in my side deck, obviously. But I don't. Know, I just feel like with the exception of Dark World, like a Dark World mirror match, these can be pretty powerful. But, I mean, hell, the, the plants, rabbit, tech genus agents. It just it hurts them pretty badly. To make some, they have to make some tough decisions. Is the, the the mirror force. I, don't know, I like it. It just can stop that one attack. That if I if I need to keep a monster in the field, or if I just don't want to take any damage. One deck Debbie. I side a second one just for those decks that have a lot of low level uh, low attack monsters. I grab it. Um, double mind crush. I mean, you, you know the drill. If I can call a card, and if I guess wrong, I just gotta hit the camera. But if I call it wrong, I can. You know, I really discard a card, and sometimes I'll do that on purpose. Like, if I need a foolproof way of doing it, I just call Judgment Dragon, and I, since I'm pretty damn sure they don't have it, I just randomly discard. It just can help, and just destroy my opponent's hand, or get my own hand started. Obviously, the one Dust Shoot, pretty nasty combo if you have Dust Shoot and Double Mind Crush. Though, at most, start with three cards in their hand, which is really stupid. And then, one Skill Dream. Side another one. I don't know. I had it at two at one point. It just... It just well, I didn't like it very much, but I I like I like it at one, and if I really need to, I side the second one. And it's the last one. That's all for my main deck. And 
show you what little of an extra deck I have. I'm not. It's not completed. There's still a couple pieces I need for it, but working on that. So I mean, obviously that the one Cataster. The I, I kind of like the Flameville. It's just a like um. It's just a six star that I can go to if I if I don't uh if I don't want to go into Brownic at the present time. So yeah. And plus it does piercing, especially my opponents have the scapegoat tokens. It's really nice. Obviously got the Brionic. And again, Iron Chain, just another, again, another six star. Depending on what they have, I'll either go for this or Flamebell. Unless I really need Bronic. Ancient Fairy, just d Dark World Mirror matches. Plus, yeah, if I pop it again, a thousand. Plus, it's just a good wall if I really need it. Black Rose, in case I need that nuke, you know. Uh, Stardust. Um, if I'm, it, I usually go for this if it's early in the game, and I you, I need to use Raven's Effect automatically. That's normally what I'll go for. Dark End. He's in here because if I need to use an 8-star and, you know, goes in. Pretty nifty. Let's go to the Scrap Dragon. You know, if I normally, if I need a, if I'm listening for an 8-star late in the game, I normally will go for him. Unless I feel they have Mirror Force or something and I can't destroy it, in which case I'll go for Stardust, but yeah. Gotta have one. And last but not least, got your Shula. No explanations there. It's a little difficult to hit in my deck, but... I can manage sometimes, and it's it's always nice to have. And yeah, well, that's my Dark World build. Hope you guys like it. You know, give some um, some feedback. I'm always open to ideas. I'll try anything. And yeah, that's about it. So remember to rate, comment, thumbs up, whatever. I keep forgetting what they do now. And yeah, that's Adam from Team Innovate signing out. Deuces.